All right, I'll start first by answering the 801010 question. I have advocated for a movement away from 801010 to as low as 702010 because I think open space is important. Now, now let me finish up the question though. I think that we need to be creative as a city with what we do with our other resources. We have other levers at our advantage beyond the 801010. And I think that it's very important to look at what can we do with our inclusionary units? We're at 15% now, can we go to 20%? What can we do with looking at the incentive calculations in our zoning ordinance? It was mentioned earlier, what can we do with mitigation funds? What can we do to leverage those through our AAA bond rating to borrow even more money to put towards acquiring large buildings? It takes all sorts of solutions and just relying on the open space versus the historic preservation versus housing pits people against each other that feel bad going up and saying we'd like to get some more open space or we'd like to get some more housing. I think we can do all of it. We can do more open space, we can do housing. We don't want to end up with a city where all we have is housing without open space. We want to have good housing for all the people of Cambridge and that means working through the open space, means working through historic and it means using all our resources, not just the CPA. We can use our AAA bond rating, we can use some of the money from our pension plan, we can use some of the money from across the rest of the state and the country. It's not a single answer. We have plenty of smart people on the council, we have plenty of smart people in Cambridge. We need to work together to come up to the solution. There are other issues that have come up and been solved in Cambridge. We can work to show the rest of the country how to solve the housing crisis as well. Thank you.